recording. Okay, so good morning and welcome to Healthy at Home. My name is Dr. Melanie Carminati, and today we are going to be speaking about the neck and jaw. More specifically, the jaw, because both two have a lot of anatomy, physiology, and um, implications for how it presents in your body when there's dysfunction. So I wanted to break it down into just the jaw today. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen so you can see the PowerPoint for today. So just give me one moment to get that going. So sharing the screen, here we are. And then I'm gonna be even cooler and make it into the slideshow version. There we are, hello, good morning. Okay, so the neck and jaw. I said that that's the theme for today, so let's get right into it. As a disclaimer, this is an educational <clears throat> virtual video chat. This is not physical therapy. If you are in need of skilled one-on-one -on -one physical therapy, you can contact myself uh, directly at the email listed there or give me a call or shoot me a text, and I will definitely get you set up with one-on-one -on -one sessions, but this information in this video chat is purely educational. So. Um, here is a beautiful picture from Netter's Anatomy Atlas of our TMJ. So you can see over here our mandible, so that's our jaw, and how it meets at this, at this point up here, temporomandibular joint. The TMJ joint is the anatomical name for your for your jaw, right? So when most people are talking about uh, jaw pain, they're specifically pointing to the TMJ uh, joint itself. So you can see the mandible, the temporal bone, how they meet, and they form the temporomandibular joint. Around there, there's a bunch of ligaments. There's even some artery supply through there too, um, but it is right in that area. And you can see the joint capsule covering the joint itself. Please, please. So, hey, Teddy, good morning. Hi, guys. Welcome. Morning. So today, Teddy, I'm just getting into some details about the jaw. So okay. this is the first anatomy picture that I'm showing for today. And I just went briefly into some anatomy of the mandible here. That's the main jaw bone. And then the temporal bone here and how it connects and makes <laughs> the temporomandibular joint. It's covered, every joint is covered by a bunch of ligaments that make the joint capsule. And uh, you'll see in that bottom picture, you can see the artery and some other um, nerves that run through that area. So there's a lot going on. So the next picture I want you to show is, or that I'm showing is the muscle layers. So you can see there's a ton of muscles that cover that joint. You can barely even see the joint that you saw before in that picture. So the um, masseter muscle is the muscle right over here, and that is our main muscle for mastication. Mastication means chewing, so that's the main muscle that you use when you're eating um, and taking in any food. Now there are a bunch of other muscles in our neck that insert and uh, originate at that same area, so they influence each other. You can see how it's just like a layered network of a bunch of different muscles. And what happens when, uh, as a physical therapist, when I'm treating TMJ dysfunction, is I take into consideration not just the, the jaw, but the cervical spine, the shoulder, and then any other stuff that might be going on in their, their cranium, in their skull. But uh, from a muscle standpoint, you can see if this muscle over here, one of the digastric muscles is tight, that can obviously influence and pull on the jaw itself. Then down below, you see the sternocleidomastoid joint, uh, mastoid muscle, excuse me, the SCM, and that runs from your collarbone bone all the way up to the back of the skull. Tension from there can refer pain into your TMJ as well. And so uh, musculoskeletal-wise, myofascial-wise, if there is any tension in any of those muscles uh, in excess, that can just refer symptoms into the TMJ but it can also refer into the cervical spine, but I'm not gonna get into the, to the neck today. I just wanna focus on the TMJ because it is a lot to take in. So next picture. So this, I had a really hard time, guys, finding a good picture of the, the front view, but this just gives you 
an understanding of if you were to tilt your head back, how the muscles look from the front and then how the cervical spine um, and the, the trachea and all of the, that structure would be running. Um, again, you can see the collarbones down below. The collarbones are really an important bony landmark for TMJ muscles, for the jaw muscles, because the muscles that start up here run all the way down and typically insert on the collarbone itself. Um, so what can happen? What is TMJ dysfunction? How does it typically present? So many people who have TMJ dysfunction present with grinding. And that is something that most dentists will point out because they'll be doing, you know, your dental exam and notice the changes in the, um, the wear and tear of, of your teeth. And they'll oftentimes give a night guard to prevent the damage to your teeth. However, the night guard itself doesn't stop the TMJ dysfunction. It just protects your, your teeth. So um, there is a lot of postural habit retraining that needs to be done to correct uh, TMJ uh, fully in order for you to present, uh, prevent any of the progression of the symptoms. Something else that can happen, I don't know if any of you have this or if you've heard of people who have this happen, is the disc, there's a little disc in that joint actually, and it can actually sublux. Many different causes for that. Sometimes it's just anatomical, um, sometimes it's influenced by a trauma, you know, car accident or something, or if they were a gymnast and uh, I don't know, they, they landed weird, it can cause a subluxation in the joint uh, in the disc at that joint level itself. So some symptoms are jaw pain, headaches, painful chewing, eating, inability to open your jaw fully, nausea, that's a typo there, but um, some, those are some of the symptoms that people will present with if they, if they have TMJ dysfunction. So TMJ treatment. Big part of TMJ treatment is promoting relaxation and stress reduction. There are so many patients that I've treated who, when they're in a situation of high stress or the stress levels have increased, they, their TMJ symptoms return, right? So all of us are hopefully working to have that wellness routine in so that you're taking the time out to do something to reduce the stress because having high stress levels um, will flare up the TMJ symptoms because most commonly when we are in that uh, fight or flight response and our sympathetic system kicks in, the upper trapezius and our um, uh, neck musculature will tighten up and that will just refer tension into the jaw itself. From a physical therapy standpoint, what we do for TMJ is there's, there's gentle massage for the muscles. There's also self-massage that I teach to patients uh, for their maintenance of uh, TMJ as well. And there's trigger point release. So believe it or not, just like there can be a trigger point in your gluteal muscle or your hamstring, you can have a trigger point in uh, your masseter muscle or any of the other muscles that insert at the TMJ joint. There are certain stretches that mainly involve just opening and closing the jaw, which we'll get into some of that later. Uh, joint mobilization, that's hands-on stuff. And then postural re-education and habit and behavioral modification. So postural re-education is crucial because as I've reinforced in every healthy at home, before you do any exercise, you always want to make sure that your form is proper. You want to make sure that you're in that ideal posture, the ideal alignment. If at any point your shoulders are too far forward or you're arching your back too much or your head's not um, aligned on the spine, that will trigger muscle activation in excess. And if you're in that improper posture long enough, then that excessive muscle activation will lead to uh, tightness in the muscle, cramping, uh, maybe referral of pain and discomfort, and all of that needs to be addressed for uh, the full recovery of TMJ. Habit and behavior modification. So as you, as I mentioned um, before, difficulty eating, difficulty chewing, that would lead to the recommendation of not eating nuts and other hard foods, no chewing gum, reducing stress, 
and then postural ergonomic wise, addressing the um, workplace setup, right? So proper sitting posture, making sure that your computer screens and eye level, all of these adjustments need to be made to, to allow for healing. So um, let's get into, oops, okay, so I'm gonna stop the screen share and we're gonna go into some exercises. Okay, tell me when you can see me. Can you see me now? Yes. Okay, great. All right, so first thing, like I said, that we're gonna do is we're gonna work on our posture. So I'm gonna slide back in my chair. Everyone should be sitting in a chair. I'm gonna angle down a little bit more. Okay, so first thing we wanna do, start with our pelvis. Hands on the hips, feet should be flat. Or you're just gonna rock your pelvis back and forth and find your sit bones, okay? So you're finding your sit bones. If you rock side to side and then come to center, you wanna have most of your weight on your sit bones. Now, technically, because everyone in this video chat has been here before, I'm gonna give you one more piece of information. From this position that you're in right now, <clears throat> You're going to rock your pelvis like 10% slightly forward. And what you'll feel is that your pelvic floor muscles, the muscles that run from your pubic bone all the way back to your tailbone, those should activate and wake up. Okay, you want to have that base level muscle activation in your pelvic floor. So from here, the next thing you're gonna do is just check your rib cage, one hand on the front, one hand on the back. See where your rib cage is in relation to your pelvis. The rib cage should be over the pelvis. So try to get that position just right. An image that I've been using is imagine that your rib cage is like a box, like a package that you just received, and that package should be right over your pelvis. So from here, now rest your hands down on your thighs, roll your shoulders back and down, and then bring your head back in space slightly. The bottom of your chin should be parallel to the floor. Now see if you can just settle into this position. It really shouldn't be a lot of work. So just let your bones sink into this place. Okay. So before I even get into the TMJ specific, I just wanna take a few breaths to get us all grounded and connected to our, our main supportive breathing, which is our diaphragm. So take a big inhale, feel your belly expand as you inhale, fill that belly up with air, diaphragm expanding, and then exhale, let all the air out. Feel free to do an audible exhale of your choice. It can either be a mirror fogging exhale like or shh, or whatever feels good for you. Let's take two more breaths. Inhale, feeling the expansion in our belly. And exhale. Again, inhale. And exhale. Good. And now just settle into that. Okay. So from here, we're gonna take our hands and just try to find where our TMJ joint is. So I'm gonna guide you through that. I want you to take your um, pointer finger and your middle finger, and you're gonna first just go towards your ear. So just gently touch where your ear is, and then slowly slide more towards your uh, mid face, and then down a little bit. And you should be slightly above your jaw. We're just gonna start there. And from here, this is a very sensitive area, so please, um, recommendation is to just gently have the fingers placed there. I want everyone to just open their jaw and then close. And do that again, open your jaw and close. So you should feel a little bit of movement in that area. If you don't, just do a few more opening and closings of the jaw and see what's happening there. Okay. All right, now keeping our fingers there, hopefully you found the spot. It is, if you go from the ears, it's 
um, you work your way like two fingers distance in and you should be just a little bit down and that should be at your TMJ joint. Now we're going to keep our fingers here and we're going to do uh, an exercise. So the exercise is a TMJ relaxation exercise. So if you feel with your hands lifted, your shoulders are shrugged up and you can't keep your shoulders down, you can always just put your hands by your side, but it helps with learning to keep the hands here. So we're gonna put our tongue to the roof of the mouth and just hold that there and feel like the muscles around the jaw are just relaxing. And then you can relax, rest the tongue for a moment and do that one more time. Put the tongue to the roof of the mouth and see if you can feel your muscles and your jaw just relaxing there. Okay, so now the progressed version of that, of checking in with your TM, TMJ joint, is to keep the tongue to the roof of the mouth, and then try with the tongue to the roof of the mouth and see if you can open your jaw. So we're gonna have the tongue to the roof of our mouth, and then just let your jaw open. It doesn't have to be very far. It shouldn't be forceful at all. It should just be like a natural relaxation. And then rest. And try that four more times. So the tongue's to the roof of the mouth. And you're opening. Good. Three more. Again. One more. Good. Okay, now you can bring your hands down. Good. Okay. So we're just going to try. Um, how's everybody doing so far? Good. Good. Okay, great. So you should have felt a relaxation in that area. Again, whenever we're in that fight or flight response, the uh, neck musculature and the jaw musculature will clench and engage. So it's good if you're working for long periods to just check in with your jaw. Do exactly that, put the hands there, take some breaths, do the jaw opening, and then do the tongue to the roof of the mouth. Okay, so the next exercise we're gonna do is you're gonna stay with your hands down I want you to have your tongue to the roof of the mouth again, and you're gonna let the jaw open, and then you're gonna close, and then you're gonna do it again. Do that three more times, and close, and open, and feel that relaxation, and close one more, and close. Okay, now you're going to repeat the same jaw opening, but your tongue is not going to be at the roof of the mouth. So see and challenge yourself to keep that same amount of relaxation in that area. So you're going to open your jaw and close. It should feel easier now. Open and close. Again, open and close. Last time, open and close good okay so we're just going to finish with one neck stretch this neck stretch helps a lot because tension from it can lead into a referral of pain into the uh, the tmj joint itself so we're going to finish with the upper trapezius stretch so think of keeping your nose pointing towards the screen your jaw should be nice and relaxed you're sitting in that ideal posture shoulders are down if you tilt your ear over towards your shoulder, hold that there, breathe into that stretch. Taking some deep breaths. Whenever you're doing these big muscle stretches, you wanna be holding them for at least 30 seconds. Inhaling, exhaling. One more breath, inhale, exhale. And then slowly restack your head back up and we'll go over to the other side. Good, as you're doing this, see if you can keep your jaw relaxed. Inhaling through your nose, breathing into that diaphragm, exhaling through your mouth. 
Again, inhale. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. And exhale, slowly come up. Okay, let's do that one more time. And I want everyone to be sure that they're keeping their shoulders down. You're gonna tilt over towards the other side again. Keep both shoulders heavy. Let the sh shoulders be hanging. Keep the jaw open. Breathing in and out and in. Out, one more breath. Feeling those muscles relax in and out again and slowly come back up. We'll go over to the other side one last time, tilting the ear over towards your shoulder, keeping both shoulders heavy, jaws relaxed, inhaling through your nose, exhaling through your mouth. Again, inhale and exhale and then slowly restack your head back up okay very good so this whole area should feel nice and relaxed so i'm going to bring back the powerpoint let's see screen share okay so spoke about that so here we are. Okay, so Healthy at Home, you guys already know this because you've all been here before. Healthy at Home is a free 30-minute video chat. It's open to everyone, Mondays and Fridays at 10.30. I just covered team day today, so I'm going to get more into the neck on Friday. They both are intimately related, but they both need their own time to cover appropriately. If you're interested in joining the virtual Pilates mat class, I teach Tuesday at 11 a.m., you can email me, call me, um, just let me know. Uh, the Wednesday 5.30 class is at intermediate level, so that's for experienced um, Pilates people and movers. So that is also a great class. Dr. Amarantha Ber Berkel's teaching that. And then you know that we are still doing the virtual PT uh, follow-ups, initial evals, and one-on-one -on -one sessions. Here is my info so you can get in touch with me. And thank you so much. So I'm gonna save the last few minutes for questions about anything that we just covered. Any questions about TMJ? No burning no. questions, nothing, no? Burning questions. Burning questions, yes. I don't, ha I don't have a question. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, Me. No, you either, okay, all right. Um, so if you have anything that you want me to cover next week, let me know. Um, I'm going to be going just body part by body part and then circling back around and getting deeper into everything that we've been covering. So we so should for the neck, the okay. neck part that you're going to do the next session. Yes. Are you going to be going into like, um, like how to relieve the stress in your neck. Like uh, I know that I hold a lot of stress in my neck and my shoulder areas. Will you be going into more like relaxation of the neck and the shoulders? Exactly. Yep. Okay. Exactly. Thank you. You are welcome. Okay. Everybody stay safe, stay healthy. Use these tips that we covered today to keep yourself uh, relaxed and relieve any stress and tension that you might be holding in your jaw. And I'll see you on Friday and we'll get more into more details about the neck, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Stay safe.